Good morning. My name is Lydia Conley. I'm chairman of the Art Committee of the Wood Library Museum. Uh, I'd like to share with you one of our exciting acquisitions over the past couple of years. This piece is an oil-on-canvas portrait of Dr. John Collins Warren, the famous American surgeon and pioneer in the use of anesthesia for surgery. Uh, Dr. Warren had many claims to fame. He was the first dean of Harvard Medical School, founder of the New England Journal of Medicine, president of the American Medical Association, and one of the founders of Massachusetts General Hospital, Harvard's main teaching hospital. But perhaps it's his vision of what surgery could be with anesthesia and his unfailing dedication to finding that anesthetic uh, that sets him apart from, from others. Um, other than the cherubic portrait of Professor Warren painted by Gilbert Stewart in 1812, uh, the original painting of this portrait by Francis Alexander in 1830 is the only other oil portrait for which Warren actually posed, and it shows him at a much earlier age in his life than the previous other portraits. The Alexander portrait survives in the National Portrait Gallery. Now, this actual portrait is a copy of that Alexander portrait, uh, painted in 1878 by a then-famous artist named Augusta Dudley, who was Parisian-trained and from New York City. Um, it's thought to be commissioned for the 100th anniversary of Professor Collins's birth, um, and it was uh, owned by the New York Academy of Medicine prior to its uh, acquisition by the Wood Library Museum. It is unknown that whether any other copies of this painting actually survive.